okay. so important that Jesus is God, then why doesn't he always say it? It's so yeah. hard to find. That well, let me answer that. Okay. That's okay. an easy, easy question, Sam. Mm -hmm. One thing I'm going to okay. do, I want to teach Christians and Muslims how to be consistent and honest. And if you're going to ask me a question, when I answer, I'm going to turn it against you. And you'll see I'm going to do it in a minute. But before I do that, it's very simple. If you have studied the New Testament, and it's obvious you haven't, and I pray you do, you realize that Jesus is speaking to first century Jews. Jews living in Palestine or Israel. If you prefer to call it Palestine, more power to you. Living in that context, for Jesus to simply come out and say, I am God, without qualification, Sam, would have been miscommunication. Here's why. To a first century Jew to say, I am God, means that you are the Father in heaven. But I just got done telling you that neither Jesus nor his followers teach that Jesus is the Father. So that Jesus must communicate he's God in such a way so that the audience that he's talking to, because he's not talking to you, Sam, 21st century. He's talking to Jews in the first century who already have a concept of God as being the Father in heaven. So for Jesus to say, I am God, without qualification, would have meant to them he's claiming to be the Father in heaven. Then they would ask the questions you're asking. Well, if you're the Father in heaven, who are you praying to? If you're the Father in heaven, who sent you? So Jesus doesn't come out and just say, I am God, just like he didn't come out and say, I am the Christ. And I'm going to challenge you. Show me anywhere in the New Testament, the Gospels, where Jesus says, I am the Christ. The reason why he didn't say, I am the Christ, is for the same reason. He didn't come out and say, I am God, because Christ would have been misunderstood to his audience. So he has to speak in such a way there's no confusion. Now, the second part of my answer. Did Jesus speak in such a way that left no doubt to the people that he was claiming to be God, although he's not the Father, without having to say those exact words? Yes, he did, Sam. Let me give you an example. Are you ready? Are you ready right. for the example? Because right. I need your participation here. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not, okay. I'm ready. Now, both the Old Testament and the Quran agree God has certain titles that no creature can apply to himself. This is actually co called in your theology, Tawheed al Asma wa Sifat. In your theology, it's called Tawheed al Asma wa Sifat. God, Allah, has certain names and characteristics that cannot be ascribed to a creature, no matter how exalted. Now, Isaiah 44 6, the Old Testament, Isaiah 44 6, Yahweh says, he is the first and the last, and there is no other. He is the first and the last. I am the first and the last. He repeats that in Isaiah 48, 12. The Quran agrees, Sam, the title first and the last, right? Al-Akhir wal al-Awwal, first and the last, is a title of God. Chapter 57, verse 3 of the Quran says, He is the first and the last. So there's no debate. God is the first and the last. No one can claim this. Now, Sam, I want to read something to you. Okay, I'm going to read something to you, and I want to... You to tell me who this is. When I saw him, I felt at his feet like a dead man. He laid his right hand on me and said, Don't be afraid. I am the first and the last. I am the first and the last. Who is that, Sam? Um, I know what you're talking about. Okay, no, answer the question. So you're not answering the question. Who is that, Sam? What was the question? Well, I just read the Quran. Allah says he's the first and the last. Okay, who is this? Let me read it again. Patient, my brother in humanity. When I saw him, I felt his feet like the dead man. He laid his right hand on me and said, let me finish it. If you're not listening, that means you can't answer. No, I'm listening. I'm agreeing with Don't, you. Okay. okay. All right. Well, hold on. So they can hear you, please. So they can hear you, the audience. It's not just you and me. Okay. Don't okay. be afraid. I am the first and last. Who's speaking here? Uh, I, I am the first and last. Who's speaking? On which? Where? The Quran? The Bible? No. Or? This is the Bible says, I am okay. the first and last. Who is this? Well, okay, it's Jesus. Um, but I didn't say Jesus. According to your Quran, first and the last is who? Who is the first and last according to your Quran? Okay. Well, You're going to answer the question. Well, if not, then we have to go to the next caller. Answer okay, the question, okay. please. Tell me, tell me the question one more time. Okay. Tell me the question. According to the Old Let Testament, the Torah, and the Quran, the title, first and the last, al-awwal wal-akhir, is a title that belongs to God alone. Chapter 57, verse 3 of the Quran, it says, He, Allah, is the first and the last. Now, here's the Bible. Let me read it again. When I saw him, I fell at his feet like a dead man. He laid his right hand on me and said, Don't be afraid, I am the first and the last. Who can this be? Who's the only one who can say he's the first and the last? 
I don't know. According to your Quran, it's God. Yeah. Read the Quran, 57 verse 3. Who is the only one who can say the first and the last? God. Your Quran says it. Do you agree? Yes. Okay, so it is God. You agree, right? Yes. You agree? Only God can say this, right? Hello? Yes, you agree. Yes, you agree, you agree right? Only God can say yes. this. So they hear, can hear you, right? Yes, yes. Okay, now, now, hold on. I am the first and the last, the living one. I was dead. But look, I am alive forever, forever and ever. You just admit in front of the audience, Jesus claimed to be God when he claimed to be the first and last.